As much of our uh, time these days seems to be focused on the Earth, the Chinese continue to make some spectacular gains out in outer space. Today, sending back some spectacular, high-resolution panoramic views of the surface of the moon. That is the far side of the moon, little seen by man. Those views taken from on top of the lander craft, which we put there last week, called Shang A4, and sent back via a Chinese communication satellite circling the moon, and of course, posted on Chinese social media. The rover, called Jade Rabbit, was sent out again today for some exploration away from the main landing craft. It had been taking a uh, nap, that's the technical term for it, for the past five days, basically staying in the shade with temperatures on the far side of the moon during the lunar day, reaching 390 degrees Fahrenheit. They want to protect from that. That rover will be doing experiments over the coming days, weeks, maybe months in the 110-mile-wide crater where the landing craft uh, set, set foot on uh, lunar soil again 10 days ago. This is near the South Pole of the moon. And again, Sandra, all of this is yet one more step by China to try to catch up with the United States. Uh, they are planning a manned space station around Earth. There is talk of a Chinese manned mission to the moon, and then, and then it's Mars, and then it's another race. We will be watching all of that very closely.